I, I love everything that's going on in BC. There is a connection right from ownership to the team, and they're playing well. Quarterback and VA is playing out of his mind to, you know, the fan base, certainly, uh, and certainly what the community is doing. You know, they have rallied around saving local football. And so, um, yeah, shout out to uh, BC football in general, led by the Lions. Um, and it would be a shame if they lose a university team in the market. Um, but the pro team is doing everything and more. Uh, and that was on display with LL Cool J. So love the vibes, love the vibes, uh, which, which had us reminisce a little bit. And I can't take any credit because my memory, not the best, because uh, I am getting up there in age, but uh, Christina is not. And she came up with a comprehensive list of the top CFL performances, whether the pregame, halftime, of all time, or at least of recent memory. And so we thought we would we'd rank ours. We'd rank our top three, three, two, and one. Uh, would you like to start or would you like me to do the Go ahead, go ahead. Take, do, do, do the honors. Okay. Coming in at number three, and I forgot a lot of these happened. And, and shout out to Edmonton, who's had a lot of them. They did. Uh, I'm going to go... At the number three spot, mm. Nelly Furtado, okay? Ooh. 94th Great Cup halftime. That was 2006. She was like a bird. Well, it, but she was massive at the time, so mm -hmm. it was a great get. So I'm going to go with Nelly Furtado coming in at number three. Who you got? You know what? I'm going to go with uh, the Black Eyed Peas in 2005. Okay. You know, and I wasn't even in the league yet, but I remember watching that. And these guys put on a performance at the 93rd Great Cup, and uh, the halftime show was amazing that year. Yeah, you're Fergalicious, aren't you? That is, <laughs> that, that is your that is a, your speed. Okay. Um, he, at the number two Who you spot, got? are we leaving out LA or are we including him? I mean, we, we can't include him. This is my list. You can include him in your list if you'd like. There you go. There you go. Make it. At the number two spot, I'm going to go with. Alicia Cara, 106th Great Cup, halftime, 2018. I love the fact we've gone really big for Great Cups with artists from all around the world. And actually, honorable mention to Keith Urban, who didn't make my list, but love the fact that he did a huge media tour, had a great sit down with Brody Lawson. Uh, we've got the best of the best. But I love that that year we went with a Canadian that was on the rise and having a great cup halftime performance helped to propel her career so I, so i'm gonna go with alicia carr okay so who's your who's coming in at number two so at number two i'm gonna go with my man hometown kid justin bieber mm. when he came in with carly ray jepson 2012 100th great cup that was a historical year as well it was and so um for that reason i'm put justin bieber on there um i mean amazing performance we all know justin and he loves his CFL, loves Canada, obviously. He's going on there for my number two. And that was still baby Justin. Like, he had was, his baby face, you know, he had... Yeah, cut. before he, he grew up a little. Yeah, right? yeah. He didn't have no tattoos or anything like that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, that's a good one. And so we'll do this actually draft style to give more people some love because Justin was going to be in the conversation, but I love the fact that it was Justin Bieber and Carly Rae Jepsen. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, since you went with the Biebs... This is really tough. Beebs. Because, you know, at the time, and even now, uh, I want someone just to give me the light. Ooh. I, 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 I went there, I, huh? No, but no, I, I really do. I really, really do. Um, but it was a regular season game. It was in Edmonton. I think it was raining, if memory serves correct. So the occasion didn't match Shauna Paul. Mm. So I'm going to go with the one that was amazing. It was was. A quintessential Canadian moment. Might as well have been a Canadian heritage moment. I'm going to go with my girl. Your girl, Shania Twain. Because it was in the snow. It was cold. We had sled dogs. The performance was on point. And your Toronto Argonauts won the game. I mean, you weren't on. It wasn't mine yet. You weren't but they did. The, the good guys won the game. Yeah, Let's sure. just put it like that. So I'm going to go... Uh, it was Shania Twain. Uh, who you got for your number one? I don't know if I love that. I had to watch that 
uh, in the stands because we had just lost. I was playing for Saskatchewan at that that year. We crossed over and lost to the Toronto Argonauts. Um, it was a painful one to watch, but an amazing one nonetheless. I'm going to go at the top spot. The man himself, the myth, the legend, LL Cool J. Ah, uh, okay. I just told you. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting up there in age, DB, and so I actually appreciate that type of performance that late in his career, and for him to give himself the way that he did uh, to the BC Lions fans and the CFL fans as a whole. I'm appreciative of that, LL. So to me, you're my number one. Interesting, because when you said your age, I thought you were going to go with Luda, Luda Chris, uh, Luda. disturbing the pace. Uh, he was a little younger then, though. I mean, he was younger then, but in terms of like your generation of music, yeah, yeah. we're even more aligned with Ludacris than LL, but LL has timeless classics. It's a great choice, and it, it was a great way to start uh, the CFL week, have an LL perform. Uh, so I'm sorry, BC, but you've set the bar. Set the bar. We need to keep coming with it. Do we have any other contenders? Anybody else? Let's let, let's see what we got this year. And we're at the league office. Okay. No pressure to them, but I'm excited for this year's Grey Cup. It is in Hamilton. Mm. The last time the Grey Cup was in Hamilton, naturally the Arkells uh, had a big part of the performance. Uh, do you go back to the well so soon? Do you mix it up? Do you have, uh, similar to some Super Bowls, maybe a collage of, of various artists from various genres, maybe a surprise? Just throw this out there. Maybe make some MLC calls. Yeah. You know, you know the ambassador for the Raptors. One. I mean, that would make sense if it was Drake. Like, that would make sense if it was in Toronto. Uh, uh, just, just, just because. Bring Toronto to Hamilton. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm sure Hamilton doesn't want to bring Toronto to Hamilton. <laughs> Uh, I, I think they're worried about you being in the game, never mind taking over the halftime. That's well. the point. Okay. Bring all of Toronto to uh, Hamilton. Then. Well, he was very excited to dap you up when you were at the <laughs> Raptors game. So maybe those sweet nothings you were saying in his ear was, you know, saying if he could clear some dates in uh, November. Come on, Dre, you don't want to miss out on this one. You missed last one, but you don't want to miss out on this one. So, um, listen, we'll get the CFL to uh, give him a call. How about that? Let us know who you want to see and hear from. Yes for a potential Grey Cup halftime performance. And also don't sleep on the national anthem mm. uh, because that's a big stage uh, as well. Don't.